I'm going to do lots of practice. So I have f of x here, and I'm going to differentiate it. I have got blah to the power of 4. And I know that blah to the power of 4 would differentiate to. I'd pull the power down of blah, and I'd decrease the power to 3. And I would have to multiply by the derivative of blah. The derivative of this thing inside is, is 2. So the derivative is this. But I'm probably going to want to simplify that. The 2 and the 4 multiply. So I get 8 brackets, 1 plus 2x cubed. Previous times when I've done this, people have said to me, oh, do I need to expand those brackets? No. This is the nicest way you could possibly give this answer because it is fully simplified and fully factorized already. So we'll go across the page here. Um, I think that says minus 5. Does it say minus 5 on your printout? It's not very clear on my projection here. So I'm going to just make sure that's a minus 5 that we've got. OK, so think to yourself. We've got blah to the power of minus 5. What would that normally differentiate to? Minus 5 plus 4 to the minus 2 power minus 4. No, decreasing the power. Minus 5 is going to go down to minus 6. OK, the, the power will decrease. So it's got minus 5, it's getting smaller, it's going down to minus 6. So blah to the minus 5 normally would go to minus 5 blah to the minus 6. And you need to multiply it by the derivative of what's inside here. Minus 4x. Minus 4x. And then we'll just tidy that up. So first of all, deal with the numbers. We have, well actually before that, deal with the positives and negatives. We have a negative and a negative, so it's going to be a positive. And I have a 4 and a 5, which is a 20 and an x. So it's 20x. 3 minus 2x squared to the minus 6. OK, so Nabil, this one here is like a blah to the power of a half. What does to the power of a half normally differentiate to you? Um, minus 4. As the power? No, not as the power. No. no. A, half. a half. You just pull the power down. A half? And then blah. Blah. And then the power is minus a half. You've decreased it from a half to a minus a half. And I also need to multiply by the derivative of blah here, which is good. I'm going to multiply that by 4. And 4 times a half is 2. So it is 2 brackets 3 plus 4x to the minus a half like this. Ishak, this one here is blah to the power of 7, right? What does to the power of 7 normally differentiate you? So se 7 blah to the power of 6. Uh, 6 plus 2x. The derivative of blah is this bit that we've got here. I don't think this needs to be written in a different way. If you wanted to write it in a different way, I probably would swap these two brackets around just because I normally like to end with the power. But I'm happy to leave it like that as well. I wouldn't need to do any multiplying out or anything there. OK? So now we're getting to a couple of them where there's some additional manipulation that is required. How could I rewrite this one in a different way? It's 3 plus 2x to the power of minus 1. So we still want to put it in power form if we can do. And that is blah to the power of minus 1. Mohin, if something is blah to the power of minus 1, how do we usually differentiate that? Oh, it's usually um, if you, uh, it would be minus uh, blah. Minus blah, which is 3 plus 2x, to the power of minus 2. Minus two. And we also need to multiply this by 2, because the derivative of this thing in here is 2. So I would probably re rewrite this as minus 2, 3 plus 2x to the power of minus 2. This one requires some rewriting as well. We said this earlier. This is the same as 7 minus x to the half, which is obviously blah to the power of a half. We did some similar to this one up here. So I'm just going to do this one myself. This is going to do bring the power down, decrease the power by 1, and multiply by the derivative of 7 minus x, which is minus 1. So overall, it is minus a half, 
7 minus x to the minus a half. And then these ones down here have just got an extra coefficient at the beginning, which just hangs around there, OK? So this is kind of like a 4 blah to the 4. And 4 blah to the 4 would differentiate to 16 blah cubed. So it is going to be 16 blah cubed multiplied by the derivative of this, which is 8. And 16 times 8 is 80, 128. So it is 128, 2 plus 8x cubed. And then the last one that we have is like 3 blah to the minus 6. 3 blah to the minus 6 would differentiate to minus 18 blah to the minus 7. And you need to multiply it by the derivative of blah, which is minus 1. So it's going to change it to a plus 18 instead of a minus 18. Okay.